Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back. So today I have another testing new makeup video for you. A lot of products from the drugstore, a lot of affordable products, a lot of new stuff from Essence, as well as Beauty Bakery. Some good stuff today, okay? And I also tried out the new e.l.f. No Budge Cream Eyeshadow in this orange color, of course. So if you wanna see how I got this look using all new products, stay tuned. There's some really good stuff in here and some stuff that's like, not the greatest. If you enjoy testing new makeup videos, please give this a thumbs up while you're watching it and consider subscribing to my channel. I do upload videos weekly and I would love to see you back here again. All of the products I talk about today, the products that I'm featuring as new products, as well as all the other products I'm using on my face are going to be linked in the description box. I always link all of the products in the description box, as well as any of my jewelry items or clothing items that I'm wearing. So if you have any questions about that, check the description box. I went a little crazy on Ulta and I bought a whole bunch of new products that just dropped not too long ago. Actually, everything is drugstore and affordable. So I'm really excited to try them out on camera with you guys today. I've already primed my eyes and I have two eye products that I wanna check. It's really early in the morning. Okay, cut me some slack. There are two products I wanna try on my eyes today. First one, I was so excited to pick up. This is the e.l.f. No Budge Cream Eyeshadow and you know, I got the orange, duh. <laughs> this is in the shade Golden Rays. I'm very intrigued to try this. I think I'm gonna use it more as like a base today. And then I also picked up this new eyeshadow palette from Essence. This is the Make Beauty Fun eyeshadow palette. This is the 20th birthday edition. Now in person, the colors look a lot lighter than they did online. Like I thought there was gonna be more depth in this palette. There's really not a lot of depth. It's Really pretty and colorful, but very mid-toned. They have a couple of these like marbled shades in there as well. There's no orange, so I was gonna use this as like a base for some orange shadows. Let's see what we can do. I am a little fearful because I have tried the Putty Eye Primer from e.l.f. and it was terrible. It dried out almost instantly and I just really didn't like it. This packaging feels even like lighter and cheaper than the Putty Blushes and Putty Bronzers, I'm a little nervous. Okay, and inside just looks like a cream shadow. Let me touch it. Super emollient. I'm gonna first apply this with my fingers and let's see what happens. Wow, it's really pretty. It's very pigmented. Okay, now I'll be honest. On me, it is really clinging to dry patches and texture because let's face it, I have texture. I'm 35. So it's definitely not doing me any favors. I'm just gonna look down and let this kind of set. It does really dry down like it's stuck to my fingers. And of course I didn't bring any makeup wipes with me. Why would I do that? It looks like I ate Cheetos. <laughs> okay, so it definitely makes my eyelids look super textured. I will say that. It's fine. I'm gonna apply it with a brush on the other eye just to see, just, just to see what happens. All right, so I just have a pigment packer brush from Alamar. I'm gonna go in with the brush. So that actually was a lot faster and gave like a slightly more sheer application, which I think with this product, less is more. Yeah, I definitely like that more with the brush. So I'm gonna go into this top bright yellow shade in the eyeshadow palette, and I'm gonna place this more like in my crease area. My eyelids be looking dry and flaky. I don't feel like I'm gonna use many more colors in this palette, just with this orange base, I don't know that it makes sense. So I'm curious, I wanna swatch some of these shades. So that, I'm calling this macaroni and cheese color. Worked out okay, it's fine. So I wanna kinda of swatch some of these shimmers. Ooh, that looks really pretty, that bright yellow color. And then I wanna swatch some of these marbled shades. They look a little more toppery. Yeah, they look a little more like topper shades. Still pretty. 
Maybe I wanna swatch a few of the matte colors. This green over here, that looks a little more sheer. This purple looks a little more sheer. And then maybe this pink up here. Wow, the purple, no pigment came off on my arm. <laughs> All right, I'll have to keep playing with this palette a little more and I might add a couple colors as we move on with the makeup, but so far my eyelids look really dry and flaky and textured. <sighs> okay, I have no eyeliner or mascara to try, so I'm gonna pop on some eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back to continue on. I stepped away from the camera to put on mascara and liner and my makeup desk is over across the room in front of the window because when I'm actually doing my makeup off camera, I prefer to be in front of a window. And when I looked at myself in natural light, the texture doesn't look as bad as it does in front of these giant lights, first of all. But I will say when I went to put my eyeliner on, I had a really hard time getting it to glide over this cream shadow. Like it's just very dry and it's like making it almost skippy and my eyeliner is brand new and it's the KVD eyeliner that I've used for years that usually really glides very easily. So I'm really gonna say right off the bat, if you have dry eyelids, I do not think that you would like this cream shadow. It just makes your eyelids super dry. I don't even have dry eyelids. Eh. And then also in front of natural light, the actual color is not that pigmented. Like it looks way more pigmented with the lights shining on me, but natural light, it doesn't look pigmented. And this yellow color that I used in my crease, you can hardly even see. So just keep that in mind as well. It's not gonna be super punchy. And I don't think you would wanna build it up too much because it's gonna get really cakey looking on your eyelids. This is just a first impression. Okay, I'm gonna continue to use it and test it in different ways. Okay, next product we're gonna talk about is the Essence Fix and Last Makeup Gripping Jelly Primer. I love the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, so if this is a dupe, I'm all about it, okay? Because the milk one is expensive. We're gonna pump it out. Actually, I'm gonna put it on, on my fingertips. It does have a scent. What's the scent? Cucumbery? It almost smells like cucumber. Allow the formula, formula several seconds to set to activate full grip effect then apply your makeup to create a long lasting makeup look. Applies transparent, could also be worn alone for smooth and fresh looking skin. Okay. When I rub it, it feels very liquidy. By the way, I've already prepped my skin with a moisturizer and a sunscreen, the same one I used every day. So I know that it works underneath makeup. Very watery, like extremely watery. I would say not really jelly compared to the milk one at all. Um, it just feels really wet. The scent is nice. I said cucumber, I don't know. So we're gonna let it sit, like it says, to activate the jelly stickiness. A few moments later. Okay, so it's been about a minute. I don't really feel like it's sticky. I mean, a very little bit. I'm going to apply my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Foundation in the shade Bronze Beige, which is like my favorite foundation right now because I know it works. So I wanna try it with a foundation that I know works well for me. This wears really nicely on me. So let's see if this helps the longevity. It's, what time is it? I don't even know, it's early and I'm gonna be wearing this makeup literally over 12 hours today. So we're really gonna test it out. Okay, so it didn't really affect the application of my Foundation, it looks pretty much the same as it would if I used a different primer or no primer at all. I don't feel like it really affected anything. So I would say if you are dry skin, you might like this because it definitely feels like cooling, refreshing, hydrating, very wet feeling. It's definitely not even close to as sticky as the Milk Hydro Grip or e.l.f. has one. I haven't tried the Power Grip from e.l.f. I've heard that's pretty similar to the Milk one, but I've tried the Mint Melt Primer from Elf and that's pretty sticky. This is the least sticky. Oh, and I've tried the hard candy jelly primer too. So if you don't like the stick, but you want something cooling and hydrating, this might be for you. Let's see, let's see how my makeup lasts. And of course I gotta keep using this. I can't use it once and have a final decision, but so far fine. 
Okay, I'm back. So I just popped on some concealer. I used the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium Honey mixed with Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape in Light Beige. I set with my one size translucent powder. All the products that I'm using, by the way, I'm gonna link down in the description box below if you forget or you have any questions. Let's move on. Okay, so I have some cheek products to test out. They started selling Beauty Bakery at Target, at the Target near me. Now listen, I live in the middle of nowhere, so I don't get all the new releases at Target. My Target beauty section is very small, so I was really excited when I saw Beauty Bakery is now being sold at my Target. So I picked up their bronzer and their blush. So this is the Beauty Bakery Bite Size Snackaroons Bronzer. I got mine in the shade House Blend. So this is like the second to lightest shade. The packaging is like soft matte. Ooh, really nice. Nice. extremely hard to open <laughs> and that is the shade right there so pro tip for you if you're at the drugstore and you're looking at new bronzers and you're not sure which shade to choose what I do is I go over to a section like I went to the physicians I went to the physicians formula section and I took out the butter bronzer because I know for me that is a perfect match for me and I brought the butter bronzer over to the beauty bakery section and compared the colors and this was pretty close to the butter bronzer. I'm going to take this bronzer brush from Benefit and I'm just going to pop it in here. It's very pigmented. I would say it's more of like a natural bronze for me right now. And it actually will be nice when I don't have as much of a tan. And like I said, I believe they had one shade even lighter than this, which is nice. The range is pretty good and it went very deep as well. It's a matte blush, so there's definitely no shimmer at all. Really cute, tiny little bronzer. This would be perfect for travel. I will say it's very hard to open the component. Like if you have long nails, but yeah, okay, I like that. Before we get to the blush, I am actually gonna pop on a highlighter. So this is from Essence. This is the highlighter, Luminous Glow. I got mine in the shade O2 Sun Showers. Okay, this looks really pretty. It was kind of strange on Ulta's website. O1 looked darker than O2, and then O3 looked lighter. I don't know, the colors were confusing me. Seeing this in person, I think it's actually gonna work out for me. I have that like super popular, Essence highlighter, it's not my favorite, whatever it's called, the, you know what I'm talking about, the highlight from Essence. But this one looks like it's going to be a little more shiny than that one, so let's see. It's a pretty big component too. That's actually really pretty. I'm not much of a highlighter person, but when I wear highlighter, I want it to be more on the subtle, more like wet looking side most of the time. That looks really pretty. And it's like a perfect color for me right now. It doesn't look like super metallic or chunky. It just looks really smooth. Wow, that's super pretty. Awesome. And now we're gonna go on to the blush. So this is the Beauty Bakery Bite Size Snackaroons blush. I have mine in the shade Hey Pumpkin. How cute is that? They really make it difficult to open these things. It's like crazy. This one was way easier to open. So maybe the bronzer one that I got was just faulty or something. Oh, this looks, looks like a beautiful orange color. I'm so excited. It looks completely matte as well. So I have an angled brush. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna tap it off because a lot of color comes out on the brush. Let's see what this looks like. That is so pretty. <gasps> love it. Yep, love that. Obsessed. I'm obsessed. That was really easy to blend. It wasn't overly pigmented. Obviously, I built it up to look like pumpkin cheeks, but beautiful. Really nice. It's cool to know that there's an orange blush option at the drugstore.
Okay, now we're gonna go on to brows. This is going to be interesting because I got the Essence Brow Styling Soap Set. I've never tried one of these before. So we are really gonna have to work through this together. So the directions say, set contains brush, mirror, and a transparent soap-like texture for easy eyebrow styling and setting. Long lasting, comfortable to wear, slightly dampened brush with water before use. That's all it says. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna quickly fill in my brows with a pencil just cause I like to have a little more definition and then we're gonna set with the soap brow. Now I'm the perfect candidate for this type of product because I have very large brows, if you haven't noticed. So if this is gonna hold my brows up for a long time, it's gonna hold a lot of people's brows up. So I have this teeny tiny little spoolie. It says to wet the spoolie with water. I'm just gonna use setting spray because I don't have a spray bottle of water. Okay, here we go, I'm scared. Gonna rub it in, I guess, right? Coat the brush. Okay, that was fine. Okay, so that was very easy to apply. I don't feel like it was very messy. It set the brows nicely. And it's nice that it comes in this little set that you could just put in your bag. Feeling it, like touching it, it doesn't feel like super stiff, but I can definitely tell there's product in there. It didn't leave any sort of white residue or anything like that, like I've heard some of them can. I'll have to let you guys know how it lasts on me throughout the day if it holds my brows up. I'm a little skeptical, I'm not gonna lie. I don't feel like this is heavy duty enough for my brows just upon application, but we will see. I'm not gonna judge too harshly yet. Packaging's nice, it is that soft matte as well. So that's pretty nice. Okay, let's finish up the eyes. Let's go back into the eyeshadow palette and just just for the sake of testing out some more of these shadows, let's play with it a little bit. I wanna try this like pinky color on my lower lash line. So I have this more densely packed pencil brush from Blend Bunny, this is the B3. And I'm gonna go into that pinky shade. Let's just run this on the lower lash line. It's very powdery. <laughs> it's actually really pretty, that was nice. And then I have this more flat packing brush. I'm gonna go into this shade, which seems to me like a perfect inner corner shade. It's almost like a silvery champagne. We're gonna pop that in the inner corner. Very chunky. It's really chunky, but that's okay. It's gonna pop in this orange eyeliner from NYX in my waterline. And I'm going to pop on some Unearthly Cosmetics lashes in the style Dreamlike. The eyeliner on this eye is so bad. I could not get it to glide over the, look, it looks so bad. Just ignore that. Okay, I have a few lip products to try out. So the first thing is I bought a lip set from About Face. I mean, they don't sell them together, but you know, they go together. I bought one of their Paint It Matte lip colors, and this one is in the shade Canyon on Fire. It's more of like a corally orange, but I've been wanting like an orangey red liquid lipstick. The packaging on this is super cute. It has like a minty smell to it. Ooh, that is a really pretty color. <gasps> I love that. And then I got the lip liner in the shade Love Like a Sunset. And it looked like they were gonna match pretty perfectly. Yeah, they look like they match exactly perfectly. So I probably wouldn't wear this lip combo with this eye look. My plan is more to wear this with like a very minimal eye look and let this be the star of the show, but I wanna try it on, just for funsies. Let's see what it looks like. So that is a really fun, bright color. The lip liner is extremely creamy, like very, very creamy, which I prefer in a lip liner. So it was really easy to just glide on. And this is nice too, because it has such a pointed doe foot applicator. You can really almost line your lips with this as well and get really precise application. I will say the more that I'm pulling this in and out, it's getting everywhere, all over the cap, all over the, 
that's kind of gross. And it has already definitely dried down completely matte. But this is the color Canyon on Fire. Okay, so I removed the matte liquid lipstick and the lip liner from About Face, and I will say it was very difficult to get off my lips. And it had only been on my lips for like two minutes. <laughs> so I feel like it's gonna be very long wearing, but I also will say when I removed it and I just re-lined my lips with ColourPop's BFF, it was very hard for me to line with this because my lips feel very dry. <laughs> so it's a standard, it seems like a standard liquid lipstick, so. Okay, so now I wanna try out this gloss from Essence. So this is from the same line as the Make Beauty Fun palette. This is the Make Beauty Fun Plumping Lip Gloss. And it looks really pretty sparkly gloss. I'm very excited to try it. The shade is Swipe for Happiness. Just a flat doe foot applicator. Has a slight minty smell to it. Looks really pretty. I can't really see the sparkles. They must be so, so, so fine and small. Feels very nice on the lips. Has kind of a funny taste to it, which I found with their previous glosses. I didn't love the scent or the taste. The scent on this is much better than their previous glosses in my opinion. This just smells minty. So let's let it sit and let's see if we get like a, how much of a plumping effect feeling I get. 12 seconds later. Okay, so I would say on a scale of zero to 10 being zero, zero plumping effect and 10 being like, you wanna rip your lips off your face burning hot. This is more like a three. It, I hardly feel any sort of plumping. It's very, very, very subtle. And it's not a burning effect. It's more of a cooling effect. And I really only feel it right in the middle of my lips, which I feel like that's where I didn't put the lip liner. So I feel like the lip liner is creating a barrier. Basically what I'm trying to say is if you don't like plumping glosses, I think you would still enjoy this one, especially if you put a lip liner or a lipstick underneath it to create a barrier. But it feels very nice otherwise, doesn't feel sticky, feels nice. All right, you guys, and that is it for this testing new makeup video. I hope you enjoyed it. I've had some good stuff, some not so good stuff. I would say my top favorites of the video are the cheek products, the highlight, the bronzer, and the blush. I feel like they were extremely easy to use. I love the effect on my skin. This highlighter looks shiny, but it doesn't look sparkly. It doesn't look over the top, which is what I like. The bronzer was a really nice tone. I would say if you are my skin tone or slightly lighter, this shade in particular, which was the shade House Blend, would work pretty well. It's a matte bronzer. It was really easy to use. Love this blush. Love it. This is probably my favorite thing that I tried today. It's so beautifully orange. I love me some orange, okay? I would say my least favorite thing I tried today, honestly, surprisingly, is this cream eyeshadow from e.l.f. I am gonna continue to use it. I'm not going to just write it off completely, but it does look really chunky and clinging to dry spots on my eyelids. I love the color and I love that they offered an orange. That makes me really happy. And then my other fear is that this is gonna dry out really quickly, so. I will keep you guys posted. I always do a speed reviews video later on after I've tested products for a considerable amount of time to get a good opinion on them. So I will feature these products in a future speed reviews video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe before you leave. I do upload videos weekly, both beauty and fashion videos, and I'd love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching today and I will see you next time. Bye.